to your smartphones or not? Addiction number one. Okay, so how many of you actually take time to memorize phone numbers, important numbers? I think very less. <laughs> Recently, we have so much technology that we take everything for granted. Recently, I just lost all my contacts. It got wiped off. Suddenly, I don't know how. And then, that was the time I realized I was so dependent on these technologies. I mean, I, I couldn't even remember my brother's number. So, this was the time I thought I didn't even use up my memory power or my brain power. According to a research by Pew, it said that 65% of the Americans actually had problem remembering the spouse's numbers because it was always in their speed dial. <coughs> addiction now, addiction number two. Okay, how many of you have this forgetful habit of leaving your phones at home, office, work, in a rush? Well, for that, <laughs> that doesn't apply to me because I just love my phone. I can't stay away from it. But why I say this is because the moment you realize your phone is missing, oh, you're in a state of panic, this panicky feeling in you. All you can think about the whole day is, where is my phone? Is it lost? Did someone steal it? Should I download that anti whatever apps you get? So because of that, this is also an addiction. This panicky feeling just for a misplaced piece of plastic, this is just hilarious actually. <laughs> addiction number three, apps. Mobile apps have just exploded the market. Example, Candy Crush. It is such an addictive app. Like Miss Kripa, our Toastmaster here, she is a uh, Candy Crush addict. Well, this app, I see it playing everywhere, like from children to adults, everyone who has free time, they just play Candy Crush. Like this app is the Facebook app. There are some people that spend 24 seven in Facebook. They are always online. So this much addiction actually it's not so good. If you are a person who just itches to check in whenever you're going to movies, restaurants, or some new place, because of course you need to let to know your, you need to let your followers know where you are, what you are doing, because it's not complete without them knowing, right? Then, my friend, you are definitely an, a smartphone addict. Addiction number four. Okay, so. How many of you actually sleep with your phones at night? <laughs> I'm sure many of you. So, even me, I, I, am a, um, I am a smartphone addict when it comes to this. Because you lie down at night, then you wake up again, you look at your phone, you keep it beside you again. Yes, this is a sign of addiction, truly. A survey by Hugh again reported that 44% of the people actually slept with their phones beside them because they were afraid they would miss important updates or important phone calls or similar things. So this is definitely an addiction, people. Sleeping with your phones at night, it, you can just have your phone as your husband or wife because you're practically <laughs> literally sleeping next to it and waking up next to it and it's just the right next to it, sleeping peacefully in the morning. So this is also an addiction. Now, last addiction, addiction number five. What's the time? Can anyone tell me? <laughs> oh, okay, you're, you're, you're looking at your watch is good. Some less addicted people here. Well, if I say that and you look at it, Ms. TM Vision is looking at his phone, so. <laughs> so, anyway. If I ask you something about time, and if you look at your phone instead of the watch you are wearing, then definitely you are an addict. You just have to admit it. It's high time that you admit that you are an addict. Now, how to take out this addiction? I'm sure after all this discussion, I'm sure most of you are addicts out here. Smartphone addicts, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, how to re get rid of all this addiction? Well, you can't just throw off your phone, right? If you throw it out, then you'll realize, oh, my Samsung S5 out of the window, 65,000 gone, 75,000 gone. Well, you'll just burn a hole in your pocket. Instead of that, what 
will you do? There's technology, you have to embrace it because you can't be backward. So just have a balance between technology and life. Just you have to know how much to use it and how less to use it. And then you also know that smartphones can cause consequences such as traffic accidents or even a strenuous life. Therefore, after all this information overload, I would like you to determine, determine yourself whether you are a face, um, smartphone addict or not and improve on it. That's one habit which we all think we wish that we could kick. <coughs> but then we need to be pragmatic and keep on using because it pitches in a lot of times, especially when you need to avoid someone. Yes, in the office, you can say that I'm out there in a meeting. Sorry, I'm in traffic jam. I can't pick up your phone. So it's a, it's a good device likewise, but then you shouldn't be getting addicted to it. General evaluator, please note that I'm not commenting on a speech. I'm commenting about the addiction of phone. So <laughs> <laughs> this should not come in, in my evaluation. Now, the last speaker <coughs> was the speaker who sent his project details first. <laughs> he is someone who loves life and he works with Vishal Group. He's also on his third project and his project is again about managing a very important thing, time management. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and I sleep at around 11 o'clock. But I still feel that a lot of things I don't get it done throughout, whether it's my personal life, kind of personal things, or my office works. I cannot get things completed. <coughs> I have so much of workload, I feel. Does this sound familiar to you? Presiding officer, Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters. I think we need to seriously incorporate time management in our life. Time management is not, so, not something big or very superficial or out of reach, or no, not even a rocket science that is diffi difficult to comprehend and practice in life. Time management is basically a few tips that you can incorporate in life and get used to it, keep practicing it. And over the period, I'm sure you can improvise on <coughs> how to manage your time well. The first bas the basic understanding of the time management is like, how do you devote your time in the most efficient way? And how do you get the result out of it? For instance, uh, before you start a day, this is as a, as a tip I can tell you. Before the start of the day, you can you can add, outline what are the things you want to do throughout the day, so that at, at least you can get a, some kind of visual visualization of what you want to do, what you want to do throughout the day. At least understand that, or you can do it do that thing at, at end of the day or something, or in, even at the start of the day. So at least you know that these are the things you want to do throughout the day. After outlining, you need to prioritize certain things. According to the importance of the thing, what, what is more pressing, you have to prioritize things. Some things are, are, need to be attended earlier, some things you can keep it for later. So you have to understand which comes first. So need to, after outlining, you need to prioritize things. And there are certain things which are, uh, which you need to do it in a smart way as well. See, most of the time we tend to spend time uh, not uh, doing the way effectively as we should be. For instance, like when we, we call for a meeting or something over a day, then we uh, end up spending half an hour, 45 minutes, when it could be summed up in half an hour. With the new technology, you can have a Skype chat, you can send a message in WhatsApp, and there are so many applications that you can use. And always remember that the time you spend in the office is the less time you give it at home. So you need to have a trade-off, like you know, in the best possible manner, where you can devote your time with the house. At the same time, you get your work done on time, staying till 11 o'clock, or some uh, for, for that matter, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the evening. Staying over time doesn't work actually in the long run, because if you attend too much into office, you're missing out something at home, and and that's equally important. Just uh, working and office just a part of your life. 
is not the whole and the sole thing. So utilize time as much as possible. For instance, two minutes also matter. In two minutes, you can send two emails. You can call up two people. You can have a Skype chat and brief somebody. And two minutes is quite important. Two, two minutes in a day can add up to half an hour. And half an hour, you can do a lot of things. You can finish a lot of workload. You can do many things with in half an hour time. So every two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, that, 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 that is wasted. You have to understand how, how to capitalize on that. For instance, when, you, when somebody calls for a meeting, so you say you schedule a meet at 3 o'clock. Somebody comes at 3.15, very lazily, not understanding the value of time. And when you set up, set up for a meeting, like you put a time like 3 to 3.30, when it could be done in half an hour, uh, 15 minutes time, it shouldn't take half an hour time. So when I say some, when I ask somebody like I'm coming over for a meeting around 3:18, the person I'm meeting is definitely next door. <laughs> so if I'm telling I'm coming at 3:18, that person will be surprised. You think that I'm gone crazy or something? <laughs> Why is he not saying 3:30 or for that matter 3:50? <clears throat> so these kind of things also matter. So you start understanding those things and start doing things in a more practical way or more pragmatic for that matter. The other very important thing, which might look very contradictory at the at the at the point, because we're talking about time management here, and I'm talking about delegation as well. So there are so many things you cannot you, you cannot do it. It's humanly not possible to do everything, be at every place, attend everything. This is not so. You need to have the understanding and how to get things done from others. You need to delegate. You need to ask for the assistance from your seniors or for the juniors or your co-workers or your friends, get it done. The main issue is to get the thing done on time. And delegation is one very good instrument that you can always use. To sum up everything up towards the end, uh, I, want, I want to run down on the kind of tips that I've just mentioned right now. Outline the agenda, prioritize the thing, count every minute of it. Try to do things as smart as possible. Try to be more efficient. Try to be more efficient in the way that you deliver things on time. And also delegate. So because life is not all about work and going to office. You need to do a lot of things. You need to take time for yourself. Unless you do not follow these kind of basic tips in life and work on it, you will not improve your family life. You will not improve your work life. You don't have time for yourself. You are so much stressed with the work and the burden of work that you shoulder, that probably you'll have some disease eventually before you turn 40. So please, please be careful of all this. I, I'm sure this, this is going to be very useful to the people who will be starting their work life very soon, and people who already do their work life for many years. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Some very pragmatic tips on that. Now, my request to Time Timer Toastmaster Pity to give us whether all the speakers are eligible to be voted. Uh, yes, all the speakers are eligible to be voted. So, I request the Toastmasters and the guests to please vote for the speaker you thought was the better speaker amongst all the three. All, all the three. And I request the Bath counters, Sir Master Pushpa, please collect the votes. With this, we are going to take a short 10 minute break wherein we are going to network and the evaluator and the general evaluator and grammarian are going to deliberate on how the meeting and the